Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Turncoat Cavalier gameplay. We already completed chapter 1, chapter 2. Now we're going to be doing a bleak future Turncoat and the boss is going to be Chang Chi. And we are going to take him down easily without any effort at all. So stay tuned for the final fight. Here we're going to go into path A. We're going to just teleport to the first fight. The first fight is going to be against uh, Mr. Fantastic. And let's just add on some boost. It's Cavalier gameplay. So whatever to make this uh, a speedy. Uh, we want to use up some of this boost anyway. We have quite a few in inventory and the first fight like i said is going to be against mr fantastic all of these nodes leading up to the boss has a mix master so you have to mix up uh, light and medium attacks no two basic attacks got to be the same consecutively so we need to mix it up so we like to do a parry light and medium or parry light heavy which works well with mr um uh, Nick Fury. Nick Fury actually, when you parry, you light and you heavy. You avoid that uh, evade from Mr. Fantastic and anyone on this spot. So here we go. We're going to fire up that SP2 hopefully and do some damage. Uh, but this is Mr. Fantastic. So we really don't want to fire off any um, SP1s or 2. We don't want to get any weaknesses uh, applied to us. Uh, so we're going to try to finish this fight off without using any special attacks. Uh, so for the rest of the gameplay, we are going to be fine. And he is just melting away with those blades. A thousand plus stick on those blades. I got clipped with the um, unblockable, but that's okay. His SP1 is not too difficult to evade. Uh, it's easily de uh, using dexterity. And uh, sometimes you do get clipped, but that's gameplay. This is not perfect gameplay. This is how to beat the quest so you get the rewards. Next fight up is Call Obsidian. And we are going to use Dr. Doom for Call Obsidian. And again, for those of you who think you cannot complete this with, um, with four stars or five stars or six stars, uh, well, this gameplay is going to demonstrate that not only could you beat this quest, uh, but you can beat the final boss with a four-star champion and uh, we are going to be using a four-star champion to be the final boss today and um, Hopefully you enjoy that gameplay and Here we go call obsidian uh, again. It's mix master. So we're just going to uh, parry light and heavy or parry and heavy in the case with mr. Uh, Dr. Doom here we go. So you just want to mix it up, mix up the gameplay, mix up the um, SPs if you want to. You don't have to. But uh, with Dr. Doom, you want to go to SP2, SP3, or you want to use SP1 to power drain the opponent. So all of these fights take a little bit longer than if you were doing the uncollected fights. These uh, fights have uh, that extra node buff information that makes it uh, difficult a little bit more difficult to uh, be the quest uh, so we have a six star rank two dr doom right now and here we go he's going for his sp3 we're going to fire up the sp1 we're going to power drain him and every hit uh, on the light is going to do some uh, power drain but again you cannot do light 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 uh, because you're going to be getting that evade from call obsidian and everyone on this part so you need to mix it up medium light medium use light medium light or use my favorite move uh, for most of these champions especially if you're using dr doom and uh, nick fury is to parry light and heavy attack and you could just rinse and repeat that over and over to be this gameplay but i think the most difficult fight on this part part a is that annoying guy um we're gonna get to him in a second i'm gonna show you who he is is the most annoying fight 
and it's definitely not this guy this guy is easy peasy mr fantastic is a bit annoying but with nick fury and applying damage over time uh he's pretty simple uh, Mordok is a little bit annoying but not the most annoying um attack um defender sorry on this part again you see mix, mix master is there and that is the one that is going to give you the most problems and if you have skill champions bring them into the gameplay uh the more skill champions the better because skill champions have an advantage of uh, once you have an incinerate or shock or i believe it's uh something else on on the apply to the opponent they cannot do the evade so it removes that uh, evade and makes that mix master, I guess, uh, irrelevant. But we are not applying shocks and incinerates. We are applying, what are we applying? We are applying bleed. So if you bought in, I'm thinking if you uh, got a uh, night trasher in here or you got uh, who is uh, Gwenpool in here with the, with the incinerates, you would be doing a lot more damage and you would be able to avoid that evade with the mix master anyway nick fury it's all about the heavies the nice thing with Mod modok is the heavies is what you want to actually beat him with you don't want to fire off three and four combos on this guy he's gonna auto block you and wreck you instantly i'm trying to bait out this sp2 i do not want to push him to sp3 i'm just gonna hold block I don't want to mix miss on a dex and one of those blades is gonna end it for you instantly as well so you don't want to make any mistakes you hold that block and take that little damage that's okay we still have the real nick fury to go so that's okay again you're gonna just hold that block and then we're going to intercept and we're going to punish him right after those heavies and modok is in the bin next fight up is going to be There you go. Pick up those three and we're going to go into Gamora. A next easy fight. Pretty simple. Just get away and stay away from her God Slayer blade that could instantly wreck you. You want to stay away from that. And as you can see, this one is pretty aggressive. And I almost forgot there that I have to um, still be in mix master mode. That is a bit annoying. It's one of the most annoying nodes ever. Having to mix it up. But again, once you're in the swing of things, it comes naturally to you. So don't be worried if you make a couple mistakes when you first start the fight. As soon as you practice the medium light, medium or the medium, oh sorry, the light, medium, light, or mix it up with a heavy, light and heavy, like I just did this is going to be easy gameplay for you so here we go gamora again is melting down she's at 64 percent and again i can't land those heavies because she seems to be backing up so you really need to parry her you really need to hit that parry uh, in order to get that stun going god slayer is ready so you got to be ready for her to fire up that sp1 or sp2 you do not want to get hit by these. And the nice thing about Dr. Doom is he holds that block so well with that shield. The shock is doing some damage, but not doing as much damage and not quite as fast. So these fights take a bit longer, like I said, than usual. Another good champion for this fight is going to be Hyperion if you have him, bring him into the gameplay. Not everyone has these champions that I'm using, but Hyperion is pretty good because he builds uh, power without having to land a hit. And he also, you can just fire off his special attacks. Uh, so you're not using basic attacks. So he's a, he's a good um, champion to bring in. And you want, and he his uh, parry and heavy actually builds his furies. So um, Hyperion is a very good champion to bring into this gameplay as well. He works really well with Mixmaster. Now, who else does um, power? Uh, if you have the guy we're going to be fighting soon, 
uh, Dragon Man, he has a nice power gain as well. So he is very good for Mix Master. But this is the pain in the butt. This guy, Taskmaster. For some reason, this guy does not take that stun. He does not parry and stun. Uh, it's very difficult to get those stuns on him in order to do that uh, heavy attack. So let's take a look at some gameplay here. I am bringing in Omega Red for the class advantage. I want to apply some spores onto this guy. But this guy, for some reason, is bypassing that stun sometimes. And I don't understand it. But if he were using anyone else other than Omega Red, he would be wrecking you instantly. Here we go. We got some spores. I'm trying to not have him evade. Just build that spore damage. I'm trying to stun. Again, the parry didn't work. He just went right into my block. Again, fire up the, S, the, the, the heavy, that one connected, but it's not connecting every time. And I don't know if it's a mistake that uh, is happening on, uh, on node information that I'm, I'm not reading, but this is the only champion that is annoying as hell. He is not taking that. You see that I'm trying to get that perfect parry and it is parrying or should be parrying, but it's not with this guy. Taskmaster is, I don't know if this guy is parry immune but he wrecked me because I was not expecting, again, look at that, holding block, and not only holding block, but that first one was definitely a parry, because I'm pretty good at parrying, but this is not working against him. So let's try that again with Colossus. Colossus is an absolute beast. He's uh, all the immunities. The thing is now I have to parry with this guy or just intercept him. I'm gonna to have to push myself to an SP2, which is unblockable. It's hard to connect those uh, heavies if you can't parry this guy. Okay, we got the unblockable ready. Gonna fire that off, did some nice damage. I'm gonna try to parry again. We got this one hooked up, boom. Okay, so you see it's working much better for Colossus. Was not working for Omega Red. I had to do an intercept again because that parry definitely is not working too well on this, uh, this uh, defender. Anyway, let's move on. One more fight before the final, guys. One more fight before the final. And we got a treat in store for you. Here we go. Dragon Man, one of my favorite champions. He is a note as hell to fight against. I'm just checking to see, make sure I have the boost active. I don't want to go into the final fight without having some boost active. And we are going to bring in... Who are we gonna bring in? Let's bring in Colossus. He is incinerate immune. So he should be very, very good against this Dragon Man and those flames. See how nice that parry works? Parry works perfectly on Dragon Man. The way it's meant to be. So uh, leave a comment below if you fought... Uh, who, who did we fight before? Um, who was the champion we fought before? No, no, I'm, my mind is blank. But if you fought him and he did, and you weren't able, you weren't able to parry. Leave a comment below and let me know if uh, the same thing actually actually happened to you. Let's see if it's a game glitch or if it's that some type of new feature that uh, that he has. But this is pretty simple. Once you parry, have light and heavy attacks. I mean, we'll be taking down this dragon man pretty good. We want to bait out that SP2. We do not want to push him to SP3, but his power gain is going to kick in anyway. That is why he's such a beautiful champion. Dragon man, he goes to that SP3 anyway. And here we go. He's going to do a ton of damage here. But we got the Colossus with all of that armor. Fire up the SP3 a bit too soon. He's holding block.
Nice damage on the SP, on, on the heavy, sorry. Dragon man, the movements are so nice, man. And that tail at the end is wicked. Okay, so Dragon man, man fight a bit annoying, but still not a very difficult fight to fight. The fight before was a lot more difficult in my opinion. And then of course we have Chang Chi that is giving everyone issues and problems. But trust me, we're going to take him down with no problems. We're going to take him down with a four star. And it's not going to even break a sweat doing it. We're just going to just easy peasy cruise control on this game. So here we go. In fact, I'm willing to say that Chang Chi is the easiest champion we have ever had in this gameplay in all six years to beat, uh, get done and dusted and move on to the next uh, quest. He's that easy to beat. Here we go. Okay, Dr. Doom is going to shock him to death, stagger. He has the power gain, but it's not going anywhere because of the stagger. Here we go. As you can see, he has the power gain active, but it's not going anywhere because we have him staggered with that heavy slap in the face. I love the slap in the face. And here we go. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Hope you enjoy the tips and the gameplay. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Now we are coming up to the final fight and it is going to be the fight with Chang Chi. This is guy, this is the guy, the Kung Fu master. And then we are going, okay, let's teleport to A and we're going to go up, collect this uh, reward, this little casket here. And we are going to go into the fight. Guy is 56,000 health here. We're going to go in first with Dr. Doom to show you how to do regular gameplay. This is not the way we want to beat him, but this is if you have no other champions, Dr. Doom is a good alternative. Uh, again, you're gonna watch the time on the top right. He goes unstoppable right now. He's unstoppable for about three or four seconds. You gotta back up, wait for the timer. And then you're also gonna watch your timer. You're gonna go on a falter if you don't hit this guy. As you can see, he's unstoppable again and you do not want to parry this guy because if he hits into your block, just like so, he is going to gain a ton of health. I believe it's 5,000 plus health and he's gonna instantly wreck you. Now, here we go. Nick Fury, we're going to use him up and show you how to get this guy down a bit with Nick Fury. Again, damage over time. He's gonna go unstoppable. Look at the time on the top right. He stops unstoppable. Now you can intercept him. No problem. Again, intercept him. He has a falter on your side of the, sc uh, on, on the screen. Under your champ, there's a falter timer you gotta look at. Make sure he doesn't falter because you're gonna miss. Now, as soon as you see it's faltered, so then you go, you gotta pay attention to that as well. And he goes unstoppable. So let's see that again. You intercept him, you can do damage, no problem, damage over time. So you could definitely get him down. You see how Nick Fury is really wasting him away here. Then he goes unstoppable. And if he hits into you, it's a lot of uh, uh, health he gains. So again, he gains back up to 67% health. Now here is how to beat Chang Chi without breaking a sweat. We are going to bring in Ebony Moore and we're going to look at it. Ebony Moore, if you look at his detori, uh, where is it? his passive. Okay, if the opponent doesn't have class advantage, Ebony Moore causes all guaranteed hits to miss. Ebony Moore causes all guaranteed hits to miss. And that's the passive and, and you have to have him awakened because awakened each time um where, where does it say here the miss when the opponent misses an attack ebony more applies a degeneration on the opponent 
So every time he, the, the opponent misses an attack. So let's go back up again and see this. Let's go back up every time. No, not, no. Okay, the passive is, by the way, if the opponent doesn't have class advantage, Ebony Moore causes all guaranteed critical hits to miss. Now, you have to have him awaken because his awaken ability puts a degeneration uh, on, on him. Okay, and now this is guy has Bob and Weave. All of the defender's attacks are guaranteed critical hits. This is disabled for six seconds if the attacker dodges or intercepts the defender. So do not dodge, do not intercept, and this guy cannot hit you. Now, I am going to take a drink and just let the game start and not touch any controls. You touch no controls, here's what happens. Every hit is critical and Ebony Moore cannot be hit if the hits are critical. Now, you see that degeneration going on every couple seconds, degenerating? Ebony Moore has to be awakened. So you cannot bring in an Ebony Moore that is not awakened. You're gonna cause him to miss and he's gonna miss, 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 but you're not going to apply the degeneration. Now, if you notice, he's at 66% health and he is going to go down on his own. You go grab yourself a cup of coffee, get yourself a soda, a drink, a glass of water, whatever it is you need to do and let this fight play off on its own. All Ebony Moore has to do is stand there. He's gonna be 100% guaranteed at the end of this. And Chang Chi is going, he's down to 65%. So with a four star awakened Ebony Moore, not a whole lot of six stones in him. This guy's already at 64% health and it takes about 20 minutes for him to get to from 67% where he was at to 0%. I timed it, it was about 20 uh, minutes. What I'm gonna do is speed up this video so we get to the end. He's at 63% now and check out the gameplay. We're gonna speed it up. As you can see, Ebony Moore is going nowhere and then we're gonna slow it down when it gets down to about two, 3% so you can see the rest of the fight finish off. So remember, do not touch the controls. Just let this thing happen. Uh, if you wanna get into the fight and mix it up and get wrecked by the unstoppable, you feel free to do so. Uh, but again, the best thing is to just let this thing play out. It's down to 2%. We're back on normal gameplay. You're going to see him. You gotta feel sorry for this Kung Fu guy, right? He's just like beating himself to death. So the title of this video should be how to have Shang-Chi beat himself to death. Or here we go, 1% coming up. And I love when he just falls flat with the next degeneration that's gonna be applied to him. And here it goes, degenerating, boom. Ebony more wins and check this out guys. This is the beauty of this gameplay. Successful hits zero, hits received zero, successful combo zero, highest combo zero, Cavalier boss dead. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna take a look at uh, the, the other screens in a second but don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when we have follow-up videos on this channel. Hope you enjoy the tips and remember to work less, play more, enjoy life, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.